Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be doing some ladder with the best tax per deck at the moment. I'm like top 250 right now, so I'll try to go for top 50. Should not take that long. Just about like four to five games should do it. So just gonna hop right in. See ya. Okay, got a match. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and really close to 82k subs. So I'd appreciate you guys a lot if you guys made it happen sometime soon. Anyways, the matchup guy I promised about, I'm kind of working on it. So probably gonna drop like this weekend or maybe like on a Tuesday or a Monday next week. But yeah, no later than that, so... Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Anyways, already got a game here. This guy's playing E-Giant, so gonna be a pretty good matchup unless he's got an Earthquake. I've seen people play this with like Mirror, Earthquake, Bird, and all that stuff. So just go for E-Giant in the back. Um, I'm gonna let the Bomber go because I'm not back to Skellies. And I don't want to like get back to my Skellies just to play it on the Bomber. So yeah, just gonna take one hit. Does go for E-Giant in the back. So I need to kind of buckle up on defense here. Only way I can lose this matchup. Oh, he's got the Bird. So yeah, this matchup might not be very good, but... Only way I can lose this matchup is if I'm not careful in single and let him get like a lot of E-Giants on the field to the point where I wouldn't be able to defend them. But I'll try my best here. Um, okay, this is not good. Both of them popped up. So I'm going to go Skellies here to cut them back and then go Ice Bird over here. Might take a lot of damage from that level 15 bird, but see how much I take. Probably going to take my tower down to like half HP. Never mind. I kind of over exaggerated that. But yeah, took it down to 30, 84. So that's only 1k damage on my tower. Um, he's back to E-Giant, so I can't really go in. I'm going to go Tessa in the middle here to kind of buckle up for defense. He's up a lot of Elixir, plus he's got a pump on the field, so he's definitely going to go in. My guess is he goes E-Giant on the right side, and then once he has enough, he goes Mirror E-Giant at the bridge on the left. Um, I could be wrong, though, but I'll try to defend this the best I can. I'm going to go for Archers over here. Okay, never mind. He can't Mirror that now, so I'm going to log this, and then really horrible nato he didn't even like kill the second archer hopefully that doesn't pop nice okay that was super clean because if that popped i was ready with the ice spirit and the uh, skellies but since it didn't um i'm fine i don't really have to play them i got some damage as well one hit okay i was hoping the valk would get one hit but she didn't that's all good though got the tower down to two rockets so i'm gonna axe bow here he might have enough for EJ. i kind of played it late yeah i should have predicted that pump but kind of knew like i had a feeling he would pump but i didn't really want to predict it probably should have um that should die to my tesla i'm pretty sure so i'm gonna go for skellies on the bomber and just rocket him out never mind okay goes for bird in the back so i can't really rocket him out because there's 40 seconds left so i gotta defend this and then go for rockets i need to be able to get back to two rockets without taking any damage so um you need to kind of be able to know when to rocket and when not to rocket because if you send a rocket at the wrong time you choke the whole game and he's actually not going to be able to mirror this because he played a bomber and a nato so i'm fine I'm just gonna rocket him here and 20 seconds left so he can't really do anything in that time i'm gonna rocket him out try to get back to the second one and just kind of throw it at him and win the game so i'm gonna log this back go for ice spirit skellies i'm back to valk so i need a valk into all this to kill the goblins and the bomber and yeah just gonna rocket it i'm gonna take some damage here but it's not gonna take my whole tower i don't really have to panic so yeah that's game rocket is like 591 i'm pretty sure so a really good first game um i don't want to say that's a good matchup but at the same time i don't think he had a big spell so it's pretty easy to beat i'm gonna gem this um magical chest actually not gem like use a key on it yeah okay gonna use a key and see if i get a monk out of this hopefully nope got a legendary though see what i get i drag all right that's horrible whatever okay got a match facing Mohammed light he's the best player in the whole game so I'll try my best to beat this. I feel like he's playing Monk and Phoenix though, because I saw his tweet earlier. He said you'd be stupid not to use the Monk and the Phoenix in this meta. So yeah, I might be using that. I'm gonna Valk on defense here, save my right side archer. And looking like minor poison so far. I could be wrong though. Hopefully he's playing log bait or something. Nah, it's gonna be minor poison. So horrible matchup, but I'll try to beat this. I did beat this like multiple times when I was pushing yesterday to ultimate champion. So I'll try to beat it again, I guess, but see what he does. Okay, goes for minor. Might be in the back. Okay, it's on the side. So I guess that's going to pop up. Should have been obvious because he was trying to get the Phoenix up, but that's not really going to get any damage because my Tessa is going to take care of it. So I'm going to go expert to bait out a Monk. Oh my god, this guy is so smart. Let me explain what just happened. So I went Expo trying to bait out the Monk. That way I wouldn't have to play a Valk in front because if you see an Expo on the field, normally um, you'd go for a Monk and pop the ability. But since he knows I'm not going to support the Expo, he just went for a Bomb Tower on the Expo and then saved the Monk ability so that he can get damage on the tower like this after popping the ability. And he also went for a Goblin Gang trying to bait out the Log so that the Log would go back on my side and get damage. But luckily I caught on to that, so I went for a Valk on top of that. But yeah, his game knowledge is like unmatched can't even believe um some of the plays he makes it's actually so high skill but gonna expo here and he should not be back to monk i'm pretty sure 
Okay, I'm gonna Valkyrie. He's back to Monk now, so I'm gonna try to bait out the Monk here so I can outcycle it next time. Okay, let's go for Monk. He's gonna pop the ability now, and the Valk is not going to do a lot of damage on it. Valk is going to die as soon as the ability dies as well. So I'm gonna go Archers on that and then probably try to go for a second expo from back to it. I'm like one off, so honestly, I could just go skellies and go expo. But if he goes bomb tower log or like bomb tower goblin gang, I wouldn't really be able to log right away, so might not be optimal. Gonna expo here and go for a log on the left. I could log the right, but I don't really want to. Okay, that was good. Gonna arches here to get some damage on the bomb tower, and he's definitely gonna monk this. Okay, I took damage for no reason. I thought I was going to get some damage, but instead, he was able to shut down max, but without even playing a monk ability on it. I'm gonna go Valk over here to pull the outside and just go Expo. I was kind of hoping he'd go Madden at the same time so that he would like spend a lot of Elixir to the point where he wouldn't be able to defend, but Monk is still on the field, so he's not really gonna be able to get back to a second one. I'm gonna go Skellies over here, just go for a Ice Spirit. I just cycle my log, so he's gonna Goblin Gang on that. Okay, that's so unfortunate. He knows my cycle and my everything. Like, this guy is so insane. Um kind of want to expo but i don't really think that's going to do any damage so i'll just rock him yeah okay perfect he also went for a bomb tower predict on the expo and failed so i'm going to rock him out and if he goes minor i'm going to guess the back because he's been playing the minor on the side so yeah had a feeling he'd play it on the side or what do you call it the back um i'm going to tesla and just go expo here because he played a monk in the back interesting play because that just kind of opens up a spot for me to go expo and he might oh he's back to second bomb tower all right that was really fast I didn't think he would actually be able to get back to a second um, bomb tower, but I'm going to pull the monk back here so the expo doesn't lock on it. And then, yeah, I got a tiny lock. Nice. going to Valk. Oh, I forgot about the monk ability. Oops. I think I lost the game just because of that one rocket. Now, I'm not going to be able to defend this. Probably shouldn't have gone for the rocket right there, but yeah, kind of a poor decision on my end. going to Arches on defense here and just go for a Valk on this. Try to um, defend this the best I can. I don't think there's a point in defending all this though, because yeah, that's gonna be game anyways. I can't defend that. So it's a really good game. I don't think I could have played that better or done anything different to win that game because matchup is impossible. But it is Muhammad Light, so I don't really blame myself. Okay, got a match. I'm gonna try to get my medals back. Facing Clasher Tim, this guy is playing Logbit Mighty Miner. I'm pretty sure. I faced him like a few months back, and he was playing Logbit Mighty Miner. Might be playing a different deck actually, because that deck is kind of dead. Yeah, it's going to be e giant i'm pretty sure so i'm gonna go tesla in the middle here i was going to go knight in the back but he plays a phoenix in the back so I'm gonna go for a tesla in the middle to defend all that and see if i can go expo in the middle um i'm gonna have to wait for him to make a play though i don't really want to knight in the back yet okay never mind went for nato so i'm gonna knight in the back here what i'm gonna try to do is go expo at the same time he plays something in the back for my knight that way he can't like e giant on time this is one of the hardest predictions because you need to be able to know the exact elixir and nice okay i actually got the prediction since i knew he was at nine elixir when i was hovering the expo so i just had to wait for a good two seconds to play my expo and yeah got a tiny lock but i kind of feel stupid now because he's not playing eji he's actually playing golem no big spell so yeah kind of sucks i didn't get a lot of damage here but i'm gonna activate king and i kind of lagged there but it's all good got the activation so i'll be fine um, if it was e giant though, that would have been game over because he couldn't have e giant it on time and he probably would have tried to e giant on the expo, but the expo would have locked on the tower. So I'm gonna knight over here to bait something out. Good thing I didn't knight into the phoenix, so I'll be able to bait out some more elixir. Kind of want to go expo on the right side because I know he's got to respond to that knight, but he might just go like lumberjack or something. I'm not sure if he's back to it. Okay, never mind. Looks like he's not back to it, so he had to go for e barbs. I'm actually gonna skellies like here so they don't come to my tesla because I needed to lock on the egg there. Nice, okay. Really good defense here. Didn't take any damage. Gonna Ice Spirit in the back. Oh, really good NATO. Gonna Expo in the middle here because I don't think he's going to be able to Golem on time. Don't get me wrong, that was a really good NATO, but still, he's not gonna be able to Golem on time. And the Archers are going to take care of that E Drag, so I'm in a really good spot. I get a lot of damage here. He's got a like Phoenix on the Expo now. Nice, okay. So right now, I think he has Golem, Lumberjack, uh, NATO, and something else in cycle, so. Got to be careful of that. He might just go Golem in the back. Um, my AC just turned on, so it's going to be really loud. Ignore it. Going to Expo here, and yeah, he's going to be able to Golem. That was a really good Lumberjack. I was thinking he might go Lumberjack in the back. That way I could Expo and just get a sneaky lock, but nope. Played a Lumberjack in the middle, so I was kind of smart. If he goes E-Drag, I'm rocketing. Okay, yeah, he goes E-Drag, so I'm going to rocket that out. Might get like a few hundred damage off of this if the Golem doesn't get a hit on the Expo. Nice. All right, got like two, three hundred from that, so not bad. Um, see what he does here. What, what was that pump? That that was actually a really bad pump, so I might get some damage here. 
Because for E-Barb's going to Ice Spirit, just go for a Knight. Wish I was back to Log. I'm going to go Skellies on this and just go... Okay, my Skellies didn't drop on time, but if they did, I would have gotten, like, fat damage. Um, or actually, you would have played the Lumberjacks. I don't really know if I would have gotten damage, but definitely would have been, like, um, baiting out some more Elixir. You're going to test on the middle here, and he might go Golem in the back. Never mind, goes for pumps. I'm going to go Expo in the middle here to kind of snipe the pump. If I can, I'm probably not going to be able to, but worth a shot. I'm going to go for a Knight and just log this out, and the E-Barbs are going to kill my Expo, so that kind of sucks. Uh, wait, the Expo's going to lock on the Bomber, right? Nice. Okay, the Bomber died, the Egg also died, so the Expo is kind of clutch, but he's got to go for like a Golem in the back right about now. I'm actually going to predict it, like going to Expo here and just predict a Golem in the back. Oh my god, I actually got the prediction, no way. Um, I'm going to Skellies on this to distract the E-Drag, and I kind of played it like one second late. Because I kind of jumped back when I got the prediction. I don't know why. I kind of like moved away from my phone. So couldn't play the skellies on time for that E-Drag. So now I'm kind of stuck defending without a rocket in hand. Gonna have to be careful. But just go for archers low. And just go for a log. And go for um, skellies on the golem here. So the phoenix comes back. He goes for a nato. Really good nato there. But I want the tesla to lock on the egg. So it doesn't pop back up. Nice. Gonna go for a knight on the bomber. Okay, this is not looking very fun. Gonna archers go for a log. Uh, Skelly's here. Literally, if I placed that one elixir card on time, I, I would have been fine. But now I'm just kind of stuck defending the whole game. Tesla in the middle. Um, go for archers. Gonna log all this out. Hopefully the egg dies as well. Nice, the egg died. Um, I need the bomber to die like right now. Nice. All right. Finally, was able to control all that. So I might go for e barbs. I know he's back to it. So if he does, I'm gonna rocket him out. Nice. Okay. And that's going to be game, I'm pretty sure, because he can't, like, get enough troops down now. Kind of controlled the whole game, except for in triple, but I was able to defend all that, so. Win the game pretty easily now. I think he gave up with that pump, so I'm just going to take his tower down. And that is going to put me at probably, like, 2k medals, I'm pretty sure. Probably going to be around, like, top 130, but I'm going to have to go for, like, a few more games to get to top 50, so. See how much I get. 35, that's a lot of trophies. Okay, and that puts me at top 137, not bad. See you when I find a game. Okay, got a match. See what deck he's playing. I'm going to cycle my skellies in the back here. Oh, sweet. Okay, it's going to be minor poison again, but it's not Muhammad Light, so probably outplayable. Impossible matchup, though, but see if I can beat this guy. going to expo here and just going to go for an ice spirit so he doesn't get to bomb tower me like Muhammad Light did. Um, he's probably not going to do it, though. Yeah, I had a feeling he wouldn't. He just went for a monk. Probably going to pop the ability now and get some damage. Or he's going to wait and then pop the ability once it's on my side. Okay, yeah, he actually popped the ability. So I'm going to go Knight on the Monk here once the ability dies down. So I can get like a tiny lock. Probably going to play something in the middle though. Never mind. Okay, he kind of played that late. So got a lock. I'll take the lock for sure. Going to go for Skellies on here. So I don't take any damage from that. And if he goes Miner, I'm going to have to Archers on it. So just going to Archers in the back because I'm full now. I don't really want to leak a lot. And going to go for Expo because I know he's not back to Monk should be like one off what how is he back to monk okay champion cycle i guess whatever that was kind of annoying but i'm just gonna go knight skellies on the other side here to pressure and he actually does pop the ability so that sucks again gonna log this out to get a tiny lock again on the right side hopefully nah never mind you went for ice spirits so i'm not gonna be able to get any damage kind of sucks but that's all good gonna arches on defense here and he's gonna go ahead and play a terrible miner he probably wanted the egg to pop but since i got an ice spirit on that it's not going to pop Kind of want to go for the knight on the left here, but I know he's back to bomb tower. He didn't even play it yet, so he could just kind of go for bomb tower on that and just kill the archers and the knight. So this kind of sucks. I want to expo once um, the goblins die because right now he's one off monk. I wanted to like have nine elixir to have enough elixir for knight to block the bomb tower, but I don't think he's going to do it. Never mind. Okay, I thought he was going to like ice spirit down low and like go for log and try to get back to a monk, but he just went for a bomb tower. So that was kind of smart. He killed my expo now. I don't think he's going to pop the ability. I don't think he needs it, so. Yeah, really good monk, I guess. He is going to pop the ability on my side, though, to get the damage. I don't blame him for that. Going to skellies in the back. And, yeah, this game's over. I'm not going to be able to come back from this now. Going to expo. I'm going to keep trying, but, uh, yeah, I don't really think I'm on, like, a really good spot. Okay, also kind of misplayed that knight. I thought it was on the expo, so played the knight behind the expo, but that was a fail. Going to Tesla here to kind of DPS down the monk, and... He's not going to be able to kill my Tesla now. Unless he goes for Bomb Tower, then he will. But I thought he was going to, like, Phoenix on my Tesla. So I was going to Archers on it and just go Expo. But since he didn't, I can just kind of, like, 
kill the egg with the expo here just go log and he's doing the same thing back to back this is kind of annoying but i'll keep trying archers on defense and gonna pull this out not that it matters because i played the expo on the inside yeah that's game <sighs> nothing i can do in this matchup he's getting mad damage every time he goes in and i'm getting like no damage also the monk is going to get two hits on my tower so that sucks and then gonna go for archers gonna go for a log and i'm pretty sure he's back to a second goblin gang so he doesn't really have to like play a monk on the expert to kill it now just goes for a goblin gang in the middle i'm gonna knight on this i know the egg is going to pop but the knight should kind of tank for it for like long enough i guess and then see if i need to go for anything i'm gonna go archers or what do you call it skellies over here to kite that out but pop the ability at the same time so that was kind of a fail wait what is he doing he went minor log at the same time so he's not gonna be able to play anything for the expo i'm gonna save my log because he might go goblin gang yeah i had a feeling he would do that so i'm gonna log this out now bro please i need to keep this expo alive like right now okay i thought the miner was on that tower so i kind of hovered the expo on the left there but if i played them sooner i probably would have gotten like enough damage to rocket it out but now i gotta go for two rockets so yeah i'm just gonna rocket him here and i have to catch the miner if i don't catch the miner i die but he just played a miner on the expo so he's not back to it. i'm gonna log here please play it in the front just play it in the front please oh my god i caught it no way wait rocket go 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 don't log me oh my god wait Okay, I feel like an absolute genius right now. I caught the miner and got like two rockets down on time, defended everything, and managed to get a lock somehow. So see how much I got? 34. Um, that's going to put me in the top 100. Yeah, I'll play like two more, I guess. I'm just going to play two more, see? Okay, got a match. I just won a game, but my recording didn't save. So I just got to win one game to get to 2100 medals now. Um, facing AK is sight. I know he used to play Axpo, but he quit Axpo like a long time ago when Tesla got a nerf. That was like, I don't know, like eight months ago or something. Pretty sure he plays like Brit Spam decks now. So yeah, it might be like Monk Phoenix Brit Spam. I'm not really too sure, but I guess we'll find out. Gonna log here. Looking like a beatdown deck for sure, though he's not really playing anything. So Let's see what he does. Um, goes for Bar Barrel. So yeah, definitely looking like it. I'm gonna go for an Ice Spirit over here to not take any damage from that. And if he goes Magic Archer on my Knight, I'm definitely gonna Archers on it but he doesn't so i'm fine i'm just gonna archers on the lumberjack now though to kill it and then apply some pressure i know he's not back to bar peril so he's got to go for like a phoenix on that nice and then i'm gonna go expo on the left here because he might play something else on the archers okay i was kind of hoping he would but he didn't so he's actually going to get a lot of damage on that tower pop the ability got the magic archer on the expo and yeah that is dead kind of hard to beat this because he's got a monk and a phoenix but i'll try all I need is like one lock and then I can rocket cycle this guy out, I'm pretty sure. I'm um, gonna log him here and nice. Okay, pretty good defense. I um, think I'm up like two elixir right now because he went for a barb rail as well. He probably thought I was kind of broke because I didn't play anything on the monk. I just played a knight on the magic archer and let the monk do its thing. So yeah, that was probably the best um, move on my end. Gonna expo here and see what he does. Lumberjack Phoenix. I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna save this with my life. I'm not gonna let the expo die. Because this is like one of the only um, chances I get a lock here. Because he does not have the monk on cycle. So I might not be able to get a second lock. I'm going to go expo here to pressure a little. He's super low on elixir. But I kind of threw away my lead. Because I let him have like a 2 for 3 trade. I'm also going to expo here. And if he's back to monk. He's definitely going to kill my expo. But hopefully not. I'm really hoping he's got like. I don't know. Magic archer. Bandit. Lumberjack. And something else in cycle. I don't even think he's got a bandit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he put in the monk for the bandit. I'm stupid, but that's all good. He did play a monk, and yeah, that's going to kill my expo. I had a feeling the magic archer was coming there to snipe my Tessa on the expo, but played the skellies kind of late, like a second late or something. So, unfortunate. Um, I'm going to have to ice spirit in the middle and hopefully not mess up the timing. All right, that was good. Um, kind of want to rocket the lumberjack. Oh, I missed for sure. Yeah, I 100% missed. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, this might be game. I just missed a rocket, plus this matchup is not looking too good gonna go for a test on the middle and just go for an ice spirit gonna go for um archers here to kill the egg and then just go for log once the ability dies down i think he could have held on to the ability for like a bit longer but since he didn't i was able to defend that without taking any damage plus i rocketed him for no reason so that kind of felt good gonna expo or what do you call it tessa in the middle not expo in the middle i can't go for defensive expo by the way if i go for defensive expo he just goes monk and then pops the ability gonna predict the magic archer oh my god i got the prediction wait this is kind of good i knew he had to go for like a magic archer in the middle to snipe my tesla to kill it and then yeah i got the prediction so 
he wasn't able to kill my Tessa, and the Tessa got a lot of value, also killed the egg, so I'm in a really good spot. I'm actually going to rocket that out right now, so he won't be able to pop the ability on time, and uh, kill my archers, and get damage on the tower at the same time. Plus, okay, the AC turned off, that's good, but I was going to say, plus, even if he did pop the ability on time, it's opposite lane, so like he wouldn't really um, get the damage on the t tower he wanted. Elixir loss would be kind of a concerning thing there, but yeah, it's all good. Gonna archers on defense here and just go for skellies on the phoenix here so he doesn't like get to my archers. Goes for firebolt, but he's not going to be able to get a phoenix off of that. And I'm kind of glad I'm getting fireballs out on the right side because he's not being able to get any um, fireballs down on the left. That's the lane he's supposed to be going for, but he's trying to go same lane now. And I think it's too late in the game for him to switch. I'll try to bait out like a monk on the right side here. Okay, it goes for monk in the middle. Kind of wish I had a log because if I logged that right away, I would have been able to push it out of the expert range, but that's all good. Probably going to magic archer in the middle now to kill the Tessa and all that stuff. Does go for barb rails. I'm going to log this out to kill the egg and uh, push the monk back, kill the ram rider. Going to knight in the middle here. Archer's in the middle. Go for an ice bird on the ram rider. He's back to a second ram, so I kind of have to defend this. Going to log and then go for a Tessa on the side of my tower. All right, really good defense there. He got no damage from that. Um, if he played a fireball on the Tessa in the middle, he probably would have gotten like mad damage. But since he didn't, he just kind of went for a second Ram Rider. He could not get any damage. So gonna knight over here. He might try to snipe the knight. Okay, that was kind of a bad Tessa there. I thought he was going to try and snipe the um, knight with the magic archer. So I kind of went for like a Tessa high panicking, but that's all good. 10 seconds. I just got to stall this out. Gonna Tessa high and just go for archers on this. Gonna go for a log on the right side. Skelly's here. Go for Ice Spirit to not let that connect. Ram Rider is going to make it, but that's all good. Okay, won the game, so I'm actually gonna end the video there. That should put me at 21, but see how much I get. Hopefully, it puts me at 21, though. He's kind of low, so I might not get like 30, but should get 27. Not bad. And that's going to put me at top 51. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And next video, I'm probably gonna try to get Ultimate Champion on my mini account with Ice Bow. I spell night um so yeah i kind of had a long day today so didn't want to go for it but tomorrow i'll try to go for it love you guys